Are your feet tiny like a Cabbage Patch doll? Are your feet slipping off the pegs like Al? If so, stand by, because we're installing these. Today on Hard Enduro, we install Fastaway Evo studded pegs. So if you spend more time sitting on the bike than standing like me, go ahead and like and subscribe. Today on Hard Enduro, we'll be installing the Fastway Evo 4 pegs. Now, the X Trainer comes with pretty cheap cast pegs on it. They're not very sharp, they're not very wide, so we could do a bit of work on those, but a better option is to just upgrade them to something that's going to cover all of our bases. So, we've got these foot pegs here that are going to allow us to do quite a few different things. So, they've got replaceable cleats or studs that screw in and out, um, so we can change how aggressive uh, we want those to be. And they also have a universal collar system. So this collar system allows us options to adjust the pegs lower by 12 millimeters and to move them back a little bit if we want to. Now, the pros might have a different opinion on where your pegs should be, but for us weekend warriors, if you're like me, I'm not very confident standing on rocky and bumpy sort of climbs. So lowering that center of gravity and feeling like I can dab a little bit easier if I need to, is gonna make me more comfortable on the trails and that's gonna see me getting out and enjoying the ride more. So we'll step through the process of installing these fast way pegs and we'll see you at the end. So our first step's gonna to be to take out the standard pegs from the X trainer. But here's a good comparison of what we're gonna be changing to. So a much larger foot peg You've got really solid studs, which are just little Allen bolts, but the top edge of those is quite sharp. So they dig in nicely um, to the bottom of your boots compared to these quite rounded serrations on this peg. The other thing that we're gonna do at the end is there's a bolt in these which allows you to give some camber in toward the bike. Now again, particularly for us amateurs, this is gonna really help with keeping your knees pinned against the bike and having good stability. So we'll go ahead and take these off in a minute. Um, and we've got, Furs has got these on his bike as well, so we know how well they work, we know the grip, um, and we know that that camber is a really good value add to these pegs as well. So I'll go ahead now and take out the old peg. And on the beta, these have just got a split pin, uh, and then the central pin will come out. So uh, I've already gone ahead and straightened the pins at the bottom. Like any split pin, you might have to work it around a bit to get it to come straight out through the hole. But this one I prepared earlier. Use the inappropriate pliers to hammer out the pin. And just be wary of a bit of spring tension with these sort of parts when you're taking them off as well. Got your fingers in the fly trap. Now, as much as I am not a fan of these pegs, it's also a really good idea to keep these as backup parts so that you don't have to wait to order things if you break something. So as we spoke about, you've got options with these pegs to do a height and a front and rear adjustment. So this universal collar system basically can go in either from the top. So if the collar is above the peg, it means you're going to lower them and bring them back a little bit. And if the collar comes in underneath the peg, it means that they're gonna be up and forward a little bit. So we're gonna try them down and back because like I said, I wanna lower my center of gravity a little bit more. So we'll punch these in and then we'll come back and set up these pegs. So now we've uh, inserted our universal lug here. Um, so we went over to the vise uh, and there's also a tool that you can use to punch that in. Now. If you don't have a vise, I'd just put this against some timber um, and lightly tap it. The tool just helps you to stop from rounding off the edge um, of the universal lug here. So like I said, because we've put that in from the top, it's gonna bring our peg down and back. Now also before we go to install our peg, we need to do the camber preset. So there's a bolt that comes in the back here um, and you get a range of washers. So we're gonna go with the maximum camber to start with and see how that goes. So we've made sure we've loaded up both of these bolts for each side with the same amount uh, of washers. And I'm just gonna put this in for now uh, for testing, but 
we would put some of the Loctite that's provided um, with the pegs in as well to hold that in. So once that's in, we also have a spring. Now, there's two different colours, um, although they're mirrored. The gold one is going to go on the left-hand side of the bike. So that's just going to go over the cam through the hole. And then when we go to put the peg in, it's just going to lip over um, the frame here. And you can even see where the previous peg had the bolt leaning in. So that's where that camber preset is going to hit against the frame. Then we just need our factory pin to go through the whole system and we can install. So I hook that over as I come in. And then it's going to require me to get some pre-tension on this spring to push the pin through. So just be careful with the Venus flytrap here and your studs. Now I've just got to line it up with the bottom hole. A rubber mallet would be a good idea here. I wouldn't go using anything too hard, um, but we might just go and get something to tap this through the bottom hole. So first just gave me a little bit of help to tap that pin through. Um, and so we've used the original factory pin, uh, but Fastway do give you another split pin if you need that. So we'll put that through the bottom and then prise that apart. And that will be our installation of this side. Now, the last part of this phase is gonna be all these studs, which are just loosely in here at the moment. So there's a 10 and a 12 mil stud. And you're gonna to wanna to use the Loctite provided to go in those as well and screw them all the way down um, into the base. So there's a little bit of debate on the uh, forums what um, height to use. Some people use different heights in the middle and the outside rows, which I'm sure they believe gives them different levels of traction. I'm just gonna go with uh, the 12 mil throughout and see how that feels. Um, so we'll go ahead and lock tight all of those in and then we'll come back when we're done with the pegs. So that completes the installation of the Fastway Evo foot pegs. So we've finished putting our studs in, they're lock tighted in and we've got our camber, which we might play with a little bit later. So the other reason that these foot pegs are one of the first modifications that we've done to the cross trainer is that they have a flow on effects to everything else. So before you go setting up too much with your bar heights or camber, uh, we're gonna be soon to fit on some steg pegs onto the um, side of the bike as well. So it's critical that you get something like this set up first um, so that it flows on to the setup for all the other things that come later. So really great product. They're gonna give us a lot more grip um, and a lot more knee um, torsion on the bike. So looking forward to getting these out on the trail and seeing how they go.